Yeah, good to see everybody. Ex excited to be here. Obviously excited uh, um, with the Kemp Ice dedication there on last uh, last Saturday. It was pretty special. Uh, pretty special evening there. And obviously a great exhibition against Wisconsin. Got some really good feedback from the game. And excited, uh, looking forward to going to Vegas here uh, tomorrow. Coach, before you start talking about this weekend, just talk about the contract extension that we found out about today. Yeah, obviously really grateful to, to be here and, and get the contract extension. Uh, really fortunate to have be working with Adrian Dowell and, and Vice Chancellor Lee. And yeah, it's just very, very been awesome to, to be here and be here long term and keep on building what we've established so far. Looking forward to this uh, upcoming weekend. Uh, a little scouting obviously on on UMass what did you learn from their two games that they played last week in the exhibition and then the regular regular game yeah obviously a very good team coming in ranked high and obviously with the great experience they've had in the last few years there being winning a national championship and, and doing some good things with their program it will be an exciting test to get those guys uh, for the opening season and obviously a couple tendencies we're looking at uh, how they play and we'll be ready for them on Friday night what did you guys learn from the exhibition on Saturday night that you implemented in practice this week? It was really great to have such good a good opponent in town to get some really good feedback for that game. So some things that we did well and some areas of growth we got to keep focusing on. So lots of good feedback from the game and things we're working on this week, getting prepared for Friday night. Back to the contract extension. I mean, your program has been so consistent the last few years. How, and I know there's always pressure with, with this program, but how much maybe less pressure do you feel now, especially with this contract session, as opposed to the day you were hired when you were replacing such a legend? Yeah, it's always, it's always good to have that extension. I think it just allows you to do your job. You're not overthinking things. And as you mentioned, in this high pressure league, um, where often you have some highs and lows as you go throughout a season, uh, it's just nice to have that support from your administration that has your back and has your programs back. And, and it allows our staff just to do our jobs and, and to get to work. So I think any time um, you have a, an extension, it's a good thing and it allows you to free up to continue to do the hard work necessary to have your success for your program. Do you feel just personally though like less nerves now in, in so many years doing this as opposed to, to day one when you got here? Yeah, I think it, I don't know if you ever get the less nerves or, or I, I'd like to, I still don't think I sleep as well as I wish I could, but it definitely helps just that experience. You go through it, you've been through the highs and lows, you have, You've had successes, you had failures, and I think when you go through those, you just got to keep coming back on you know that experience and how it's helped you move forward. So I definitely think I, I like to think it just more process focused and not as outcome based focused. And we just worked on that with our players, even with our sports psychologists, and it applies to coaches as well. You really have to have to uh, control your mindset, control your thoughts. We all like to go negative, and it's hard to to not, but it doesn't serve you any purpose to do that. So. It's the same thing for me. And I think when you draw on that success, especially just the last four years of what we've been able to do as a program, I think it's been pretty special and we just want to continue to build on that. Did you lean on Coach Blaze and, and Coach Kemp Munch through your first few years? And if so, or, or even not, did you did you take anything away from their 10 years here? Well, uh, Coach Blaze obviously didn't stick around town. Uh, he's got family up in Minnesota and Arizona there, so I didn't get to see him lots. But Coach Kemp was around all the time, obviously as an administrator and as a, as a mentor and friend. So. Um, it was really special to have him around, and especially last year. In his last year, he got to travel with us almost every weekend. So just a good sounding board. And he sat in this chair and, and knows the pressures that come with that and, and the bandwidth that it takes on a day-to-day -day basis. So to have someone like that in your corner um, is, is very, very rewarding, and it's really served me well to have an alley like that in my corner for sure. When you have that uh, uh, extended extend contract coach also, especially in this uh, era, uh, a new era with a uh, uh, transfer portals and, and all that. It also helps you uh, in the nuts and bolts of uh, recruiting because uh, it just gives you that stability to go in, go so-called go into a home and uh, and talk talk to somebody. Say and that person knows and the family. Hey, he's gonna he looks like he's stable and gonna be here. Wow, well, is that 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 important too? Yeah, that's a common question you get recruiting because you're sometimes recruiting players that are three, four years out for attending your program, how long are you going to be there for? So nice to be able to answer that question with your plan to be here long term and and set up a great foundation for when they arrive here that they're going to have the same staff to, to deal with. So that always helps with recruiting to have that stability on your coaching staff. Going back to the icebreaker and again, uh, in incorporating those new guys into the program, what kinds of team building activities do you guys have planned out in Vegas? 
Uh, we get out there late Wednesday night, so with the time change there, we'll just grab a bite to eat and probably head to bed early there. And and then to try to we practice early Thursday morning, so we'll try to go out for a nice lunch and um, go walk around a little bit, get moving a little bit, see some sights and, and get moving. So I think it's always nice to experience a new location. I think it's going to be 100 degrees when we're out there, so we've probably got to be conscious a little bit about not uh, not walking too far or, or getting too tired out there. But then I try to do as much as we can. Um, that obviously the, the games are the main focus there to prepare for those. Mike, what was the player's reaction to the way the exhibition game ended up? Yeah, just even talking to some alumni that were at the game and, and feedback, it didn't feel like an exhibition game. It felt like a game almost in February or March, to be honest, with the pace and the tempo to that. So they really enjoyed it. I think just to go through that experience of things happening at a high speed and things happening quickly and and how you respond to certain situations was excellent. So they, they enjoyed it and it was nice to get everybody in. We played everybody and got two goalies in. So um, I think some valuable experience moving forward here for Friday night. Speaking of Friday night, UMass is a really big team. They got some height on theirs. How do you guys plan to address that, uh, you know, that a little bit of a mismatch? We got some smaller guys. Sure. Yeah, I think just compete, you know, I think, uh, uh, compete can be can be considered a skill as well in my opinion there so as long as you're ultra competitive and get the inside body position have good posture have good leverage uh, good things happen no matter what size of opponent you're going against Yeah, it's victor mancini expected to make his professional debut yeah. tomorrow night for the new york rangers at pittsburgh just for nhl fans who are going to get to see you know this new player with omaha next to his name just what you can tell them kind of as he takes his professional journey yeah, well, obviously so happy for him as a coach, you know, that one of the most exciting things is to see your players have success. So I was talking to him this morning here, and I think he's going to make his debut against Pittsburgh. And and so what an exciting thing. Here's the guy that was on our blue line, you know, six months ago, and now he's in a play in the National Hockey League at the highest level. And however many teams there are, there's six defensemen on teams, so times that on for how many teams, that's the best defenseman in the world, right? We're talking about the whole world. And uh, so pretty neat that he's one of those guys uh, come opening night. That happened so fast. I, I mean, it was it a, a, a surprise? I mean, you know the potential, of course, sure. was there all the way. But yikes! All of a sudden, he just took over the blue line and camped, didn't he? Well, you knew he could do it physically. I think when you see him skate out there, and the funny thing is, when we recruited him, uh, scouts didn't like his skating, and he didn't get drafted till after his freshman year here. So they passed over him twice on the draft, and and we got him drafted. And he just did. You know, he's such a worker. He's always out for skill ice. He's always in the gym. He's always doing everything extra. Um, so it's not surprising he's had success, and and now to see him doing well with New York is pretty special. So he deserves it, man. He's putting the work in, and you know what? He's got a great belief in himself as well. I think he's got kind of just that unwavering belief that he can do it, and he's you know doesn't overthink the situation and goes out there and just competes and plays. And I think that served him really well during this tough training camp he's gone through. Okay, Thanks, awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, coach.